How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today I got a super super epic catch for you. Um, I already went diving, I'm already back home, but yeah, we I just went diving with my friend Hunter, you know the dynamic duo, we back at it again. But yeah, we went out from shore and he managed to land a really nice Kamanu. He was freaking 13 pounds, I think he said, weighed, weighed in at 13 pounds and really just a amazing fish definitely the biggest one i've ever seen and it was from shore which made it even crazier but yeah so i'm gonna turn it over to hunter we're gonna roll that clip i also shot some other fish too after he shot the kamanu but we're gonna yeah go over what hunter's perspective was and then show my perspective afterwards when we were trying to land the fish and then we'll just move on to the other fish we shot and truly an epic dive stick around to the end because um we didn't just shoot the kamanu that day or today so um yeah just stick around to the end thank you all so much for watching remember if you enjoy please hit that like button hit that subscribe button and be sure to check out hunter he, he really came through today um we really got really super lucky uh to land this fish but um and you'll see why but yeah let's get on with it so we'd been swimming around for a while trying to find a place to chum when i came across these two big kamanus so I grunted, did a little bit of squid fingers to try to call them in, and they actually came pretty close and they started heading towards me, but right when this one was gonna present a shot, it started turning away, so I took a very far shot right there. And I hit the top of the fish in a very bad place, and it took off fast. And I was getting spooled very fast, so I was kinda worried because I knew my shot wasn't great, and this fish was very, sh still very strong. So right here, Zach drops down to get a backup shot, but the Kamanu charges at him, like full-on charges at him. And it's kind of wrapping him in the line, so... It's just a uh, time to be a little extra cautious. As you can see right there, my dad just stabbed the fish and secured it for me, so... I was pretty stoked right there. All right, guys, so here's my perspective. So I saw Hunter pull his trigger and I saw his shaft go flying into the deep. And I didn't know what he shot until the rainbow runner ran straight underneath me. So then I dove down to get a backup shot. And like he said, the thing charged me. And I should have pulled the trigger earlier, but I was just, I wanted to stone it. And he just charged me. So I just grabbed that line, grabbed his shooting line, and started bring, bringing it in. Didn't want to give it the chance to rip off. But yeah, super stoked. Like, insane catch one of the craziest dives i've ever had and one of the luckiest dives i've ever had too i'm so glad that it didn't rip off because if you see that shot it's it's pretty close but yeah shout out to hunter really well done super super impressed super proud really really nice fish bumps into the taco there a little bit but super sick all right so here after we sh took care of the comma the kamanu we started um, chumming in the deep. This, uh, I think my watch clocked this in, this drop in at about 60 feet, 65 feet. So pretty deep actually. And I just go all the way down to the bottom because we were seeing some ukus kind of circling around, some smaller, like two pounders. Uh, so I wanted to see if any big ones would come in too. Whenever I'm hunting ukus, I like it to be a little bit overcast and it was kind of bright today. As you can see, I'm down at 60 feet and it's still pretty bright. But in this case, it didn't matter. I don't know why, but I just feel like ukus are a lot more comfortable when it's dark. But here, there's a pair right there. You can see them. When I first saw them, I actually didn't think either of them were very big. But I kept dusting anyway to see if I could bring in a bigger one. And then I noticed that that one on the right was actually a good 5-pounder, 4 or 5-pounder. So I just kind of lined up on him and then boom. Now this guy, as you guys know, ukus are my one of my favorite fish to shoot, and here's why. That thing, even though he was only like five, four or five pounds, he ripped out more line than the uh, the seven and a half pounder that I shot in my last video. He took more line than that one, and he was he was a lot smaller. So I just you never know what you're gonna what to expect with these guys. You just know they're gonna fight hard, and I love I love shooting ukus for that reason. Thank you. 
yeah so after he took out a ton of line we just started following him hunter was in front of me so he was ready to take a backup shot my shot on this uku was a little bit high but i felt like it was holding so i just told hunter to just leave it but yeah we were swimming after this uku and you can see how much line he pulled out plus this extra 60 feet because of when i had to go up to the surface and yeah he just yanked out a good i would say like maybe 25 30 yards of line there i gave hunter the thumbs up telling him that i didn't need a backup shot yeah just kind of following him trying to pull him up off the bottom and he's right there you know he uku's tend to have like one big run and then after that they're kind of they kind of give up run out of power um so that was the one big run right after i shot him and now you can see he's pretty tired yeah just bringing this guy up off the bottom this is like my fourth or fifth uku in a row i think just a huge influx of ukus and i'm not complaining because i love shooting them i love eating them too super stoked right this is like a good five minutes after we shot the kamanu so it's pretty excited so we changed locations we i wanted to shoot a yellow spot so we moved to a, a yellow spot place weren't seeing any but this good sized kaku comes in for the chum you can see him down there this was in about 65 feet and he was just chilling around this one piece of chum he kept coming back for it like he looked like he wanted to swim away from me but at the same time he really wanted that piece of chum but ultimately got him stoned and then there's a big uku right there oh god that that made me a little bit upset but grateful for the kaku i mean i should have been paying more attention we actually that uku stuck around for a long time afterwards after i strung up this kaku and we just couldn't get a shot on him he would come around look at us look at the chum and then as soon as we make our drop it's just a straight beeline away and once we're back up at the surface he'll come back eat some chum and then leave he was really smart you can tell he's been doing this for a long time but hunter's laughing at me because i freaking shot the kaku and i didn't see the big uku right there but it's whatever Alright guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate every single one of you. But yeah, we got super lucky with that Kamanu. Uh, he came too close for a backup shot and Hunter shot was a little bit high. You know, super close to ripping off and that fish was really, really strong. Ripped out a ton of his line. But everything lined up. We managed to land that fish and super stoked for Hunter. Like, congratulations to you if you're watching this, Hunter. Really well done. Awesome shot. Like, awesome fish. Super, super stoked for you. And um, I, the only thing is I just wish I was next to you so I could have shot that other one. But yeah, super stoked for you and glad we could land your first pelagic and from shore, which is super epic. I still can't get over it. Um, I can't stop thinking about it. 
that was just a crazy moment that I'm gonna remember for a really long time and hopefully we can pull off some more moments like that in future videos but that's all I got for you guys today thank you all so much for watching every single one of you and remember hit that like button hit the subscribe if you guys enjoyed that video and check out Hunter's Instagram and YouTube they'll be in my bio or in my description below thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one shoots